what's up guys, I'm here to talk about paper planes. A small Australian, not really small, but it's an Australian film starring a kid named Ed Oxenbold and Sam Worthington. And if you thought it was about paper planes, <laughs> kinda, not exactly, not really. More about a boy and his dad, with paper planes in the middle. So when you watch the trailer for it, it's sh they show you all the paper planes and the making stuff, and it's like, and it's fast, how it's fast paced and everything, and it's not really. It's kind of slow and slightly boring at times. Ed Oxenbold was pretty good. He was the main character of the movie, and he worked rather well. He gave a good performance. Sam Wellington was all right. As his dad, I didn't really like him. He was kind of a bad parent at one time, because he said, because what basically happened was, all right, you can, all right, kid, you can go to Japan. You can go in this world paper plane thingy tournament, whatever it is. You can go by yourself. I don't, please, don't ask me any questions. It's just, just go to Japan by yourself. It's fine. Everything else is rather simple. I mean, there's only about one, two or three plot lines like this. There's the rivalry bully thing, there's the father-son, there's the paper plane making tournament thing. And every character is relatively cliched. I mean, there's the bully kid, he's just a bully and he's got daddy issues and all that stuff. It's kind of, it's not that interesting and I didn't really like him. Like, you're supposed to not, not supposed to like him, but I didn't really like him as a character. And then there are other characters that you just don't care about. They made lots of paper planes, and they look pretty cool for most part. So you got, like, circle, giant circle ones, and you got, like, the normal ones, and then there's a bird one. A few things that bothered me with this movie. One of them was, at the, there's this, one, like, this bake sale at one point in the movie. And all these old people start walking in, and they start playing songs like, My milkshake brings on the bus to the yard. It doesn't, it just doesn't fit with the movie. I started laughing because it was so ridiculous. It, no one else was laughing because they didn't understand it. It, it was just completely out of place. The ending was really well, was quite forced. Like they set some things up and that allowed the ending to happen, but it was a forced ending. Like you didn't need to have the ending happened. Quite a forgettable movie, really. I mean, it was alright. I liked it, kind of. I liked most of it. The planes that they showed, I thought it would most it would mostly be actual paper planes that would fly that were flying or something. But no, they ended up being animated planes just flying around and they looked awful. You could tell in a heartbeat that isn't a real plane. Like they have this one sequence where he throws a plane in Japan and it's just floating across buildings. It's it's not real like it, it wasn't that good like they had this flashback fight sequence that wasn't that was kind of boring as well i didn't really like that there was the token girl character that he had to be interested in like, they had it just got really convoluted and stuff like the dad was sam wellington was an awful dad he was just awful he let his kid go to japan and go to he went and had him go away on a bus. I'm going to give Paper Planes a 5.5 out of 10. That was my thoughts on the movie. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>